Bonjour guys, welcome to a brand new episode of our FIFA 21 Road to Glory And today boys, it's time to open our squad ball rewards We have finished Elite 2 So boys, we'll be looking forward to make a lot of coins If you want to get some cheap FIFA 21 coins Make sure you check out our sponsor UFON in the description And don't forget to use our coupon code TWINS at the checkout for 5% off Enjoy the video of us. Before we start opening the packs, this is the team that we played the past few champions And that we used to play the squad ball games as well We'd be looking forward to make a lot of coins, as I said, to potentially upgrade this team with one fantastic player. If we sell Douglas Costa, Rule Breaker, if we sell as well Joshua Kimmich, we will have more or less, and if we sell all of our investments, we will have more or less around 1.9 to 2 million coins. Yes, that's and incredible. And before, boss, let's claim the Elite 2 squad by rewards. And I will uh, show you, bros, the state of the club right now because we didn't go too much in depth those past couple of days in terms of like the road to glory and where it stands at the moment. So, bros, as you can see right now, we have 100,000 coins. That's awesome. But, 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 yesterday I had over 1 million coins. And because I know the market a bit, I know that on Sunday it's time to invest. So I invested into like free on bid uh, one Guardado rule breakers and I bought as well free free uh, over Guardado there on the transfer list. So in total I bought six Guardado. Uh, what why did I buy that Guardado? Because I knew his price will rise. I bought those free uh, one Guardado and on average 172. And right now we're gonna quickly check his price on the market and you guys will see that he rose up already like mad and that's good because like I like, like said I want to make some big coins because this Thursday brothers I want to make myself happy with buying a huge huge icon either Puskas, either Samuel Eto'o on Thursday brothers it's even one of those two icons so as you can see I bought those 6 for 171 and uh, it's actually two. going for 191 and that's super that's super good because we're all we're like Monday afternoon so that means like on Thursday it's gonna be easily over 200,000 coins so that means we're making right now if we sell all of those Guadalajara we're One, making 15k coins profit per card so that's more or less 80,000 coins right now in profit after if we sell all those Quadrado as well because we have prepared some 81 plus yeah. UCL pack because on Twitter by the way guys make sure you guys follow us on Twitter it's uh, at 25 g basically there will be a link in the description we have seen some crazy pack we have seen some crazy pulls in those 81 plus UCL SBC so hopefully we can get ourselves cheeky workouts and cheeky Mbappé or Neymar that will be just fantastic so let us know as well but in the comments what did you get in your squad battle rewards and as well brothers if you have opened any of those UCL SBCs yes. who did you manage to get out of those and this is gonna be Pianich I think I believe and at the end of the day brothers I, I do actually think that um, the more you do those any one plus the less chance you have of packing someone good if really? that makes any sense the more you do those and then the less chance you have to pack someone good I think you really need to do like three maximum at a time you know don't do like 20 at 20 don't open 20 packs at once do only five each time that's gonna be my uh, my Why? prediction for that I don't know but like <laughs> that's how you feel it yeah generally like whenever you you save a lot of like those untradeable one player pack it's not worth it but okay. if you do five each this is what the money is at bros after this is just my opinion this is just what I think about it after you can no. I can be wrong I can be good but this is just my prediction and yeah bros talking about the team would you rather have um, would you rather see Samuel Eto or Puskas personally bros the last two weeks I was really down to play with Samuel Eto but. Ah. I've seen like on Twitch uh, a gameplay of a pro player using Puskas and I was just amazed on how the Puskas is playing because he's not tall, he's quite short, he reminds me a lot about that Johan Kroff type of body type so honestly like if we can play with Puskas that would be awesome but both of them are like controllable so this like both of them are like new icons so this is like just something exceptional if we can have them already within the road to glory yes that would be exceptional personally i would want to see samuel Eto simply because we grew up watching samuel Eto, so we have that emotional connection with samuel Eto. puskas was a legend but we were not born in the 50s and in the 60s to see him play so therefore it's a good icon we'll most likely try him out during the year but it's always better if we can play with icons that we have Idolize, if that makes any sense, yes. if we have watched when we're growing up and when we're like loving in love, when we're falling in love with football, that's gonna be fantastic. Because the first time I heard about Puskas, it was about the Puskas award winner goal, you know. I'm yeah, sure the best goal of the year. Yeah, yeah, the best goal of the year. I'm sure you know that award, bros. Uh, but yeah, that was the first time I heard about Puskas and I never knew about him before. I never knew about him before. So yeah, it's true, like in terms of like emotional point of view, 
it will always be better to have uh, to have uh, to have Samueletto, but as well Samueletto is a bit more expensive, so this is what we will need to to make a lot of coins today, boys. Not a lot of coins, but we need to to be those passing. squad battle rewards needs to be worth it. Let's yes. say that in a way. There will be right now we have one hundred and seventeen thousand coins. All those five packs are tradable, so if we can make ourselves more than two hundred thousand coins. For me, that uh, pack opening will be a success. And bros, a lot of us, a lot of you guys ask us that question. Why do you guys still play squad battle? Simply because we're doing a road to glory. We're, do, we're putting zero money into the game, as you guys know. So for us, it's a good way. It's a really good way to bring some coins in every single week. Yes, when the squad battle is not the the best gameplay, it's one of the most boring thing to do during the week. But if we listen to a podcast or if we listen to anything while playing squad battle, it's actually it's, chill. It's actually pretty chill, and this is a good way for us. First of all, to bring some coins in and as well to bring you guys a cheeky pack opening because we love to open packs but we cannot really afford yep. and we don't want to open packs with FIFA points. That's just the way it is. So this is why boys, opening the Scrabble rewards every single week, so it's really a good way for us to just keep opening packs because it's a good way for us to bring some coins in. Exactly, well said Liam and finally bros, uh, why Elite 2 and not Elite 1? Sim simply because Elite 1 nowadays, it's too, too much. much. It's too much. too much. It's like 60,000 points. 60,000. Like 60,000. I know, like last year, like the, the previous years for Scott Bellow, we always finished Elite 1, but now it's, it, it was too much, boys. It's too much. Oh, oh tell us. But 60k points for like uh, Squad Bellow to finish Elite 1, that's no. too much. However, settle at Elite 2 and still open like some decent mega packs, a 25k pack that's actually worth it to open at the moment, even though Alex Teles goes nowadays for like peanuts, almost 15,000 points. That's actually decent. I thought he would have been going for much lower, but that's still decent. Alex Teles. And I'm gonna let them open those two packs. And like I said, okay. if we can have more than 200,000 coins, for me, the, the pack opening would have been a success. Come on. Let's bring some coins in. Ay, 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 ay. That's not that good, to be honest. So that's not, not even gonna be a that's board. Mean. That's gonna be David Blaine, man. Wow. Wow. Ali Vincent, you gonna open the last yep. one? Let's hope for something big. And by the way, bros, let us know as well in the comments what did you finish in Future Champions and how did you find the gameplay this oh, Future Champions? Bro. Tomorrow, tomorrow's video will be about our Future Champions recap. So yeah, don't forget to let us know in the comment that. And yeah, bros, let's pack open, let's pack on um, to this video. And it's mm. not a workout and it's not even a board, bros. All right, squad battle this week wasn't worth it. This pack opening wasn't really a success, but it's fine. We move. At least we're gonna make some coins. At least we're gonna make some coins with um, with the with the Guadalajara. Well, that's gonna that's the least. So, boys, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And then like that, don't forget as well to subscribe. With notifications on, my yes. So like that, you will not miss the upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for the support. My name is Vincent. My name is Liam. Please, bros, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. It's really important nowadays. So, boys, much love. We we'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe, my dudes. Au revoir. Au revoir.